In today's video, guys, we are going to be unboxing a secret package that I did receive from Mattel. Very excited for this package. I think it's going to be epic. Now, what's in this package is actually two figures that have been announced. We know they're coming, but I don't think anybody has them in hand yet. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure nobody besides, I guess, Mattel uh, has them in hand yet, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. I'm not I'm not 100% factually sure if that is true, but today we're going to be unboxing this. I can't wait to show you guys what is inside, and without further ado, we need to crack this open, find out what figures are inside, and then we're going to review them here on the channel. We're going to take a closer look at the details, and I might show you some other stuff that I picked up. Alright guys, so this again does come from Mattel. Huge shout out to my man Action Figure Attack or Steve Ozer over there. Without Steve, without Mattel, this video would not be possible, and I do want to greatly appreciate them. And also, if you're wondering what this GATA hat is, I'll explain it later on. A, well, I guess it, it's actually a good time. I'll explain it while I open this package that we got here. I did rip the label off there, but... But anyways, the hat that I'm wearing here is actually from my time in college. I was the head football coach of a powder puff football team, which is a flag football team full of women, or young women. In this case, it was a college, obviously. Since my wife was a cheerleader in college, I took all of the cheerleaders and a couple other athletes around the school, some golfers, stuff like that, put them on a football team, and we went undefeated two years in a row. I think it was like 14-0, back-to-back seasons, undefeated champions. And I had this hat made because our motto was, get after that ass, so G-A-T-A forget after that ass and they bought into it and we killed everyone i have highlights still i filmed the games we did film breakdown we beat the piss out of everyone but i've ripped the box open now and here it is okay so we have it wrapped up here in an envelope and now i'm going to unveil it and inside this express envelope it's gonna be what is it brad what do we have here can you see what it is i'm intrigued oh my god in heaven bro how beautiful are these figures the first figure that we have is the WWE Elite SummerSlam J Uso Elite figure that we legitimately covered yesterday in our news video. Now I'm going to put some shots of the figure so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here. But he's got the white sleeve. This does look to be a new head sculpt. It's got like this new haircut going around. We're going to do a comparison shot of the other Elite 90 J Uso. But he's got like the red dye in the back which looks really really good. I don't know if these back tattoos were on the other figure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But he's got the red spot on the back of the joggers. You also have the bloodline square on there. So I now have my black jogger Usos that I've been wanting to make forever now. And they're even up upgraded to the current you know bloodline you got the red and white stripes or zippers down the side you have the red pairing here this is a beautiful jay uso figure man i am loving the way this figure looks my god this figure looks incredible but not only do we have jay uso we also have the newly announced jimmy uso that we knew we were getting in the Top Talents wave. We saw it, I think, at the Ringside Fest Hogan Beat Shop show that they went over. But we have not seen official promo pics of this figure just yet. And here it is in its entirety. Again, I'll give you better looks of it so you guys can see. But there it is in its entirety. What's very odd, though, is their joggers are different. So on Jimmy, it looks like the Bloodline Square is bigger and it's on his right leg. And then on Jay, it's smaller and it's on his left leg. And then for the stripes or zippers on Jimmy, they're longer and bigger on his left pant, and then on Jay, it's shorter and not as long on his right pant, and then the stripes on the back of their joggers are actually on opposite sides there. And then, of course, Jay has the white sleeve, and Jimmy has the black sleeve, similar to their Elite, so the Jimmy figure is obviously a re-release or a repaint of his Elite 95 figure, which I like this one more, to be honest with you, and then Jay is a repaint of his Elite 90 figure, but I guess you could technically say this is different, because he's got a different head sculpt, or at least I think he has a different head sculpt. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just differently painted. But they have their white shoes on there. I mean, dude, these are beautiful figures. Oh my god in heaven. I'm trying to think if there's... I don't think there's a double-jointed arm sleeve that's in red, but that would be something to absolutely do. But I'm gonna throw it over to myself in the review station so we can take a closer look at these and get some comparison shots. And he also included their accessories. So Jimmy does include the, the Usos hat and the SmackDown title. I'm pretty sure his Elite 95 figure did that as well, so that's pretty excellent. The Usos collection is just growing, man. It looks beautiful. The bloodline is going to be fully represented here in my collection. And then for Jay, he threw in the interchangeable hands and the lay. So we have the white lay, and then we have the interchangeable hands. But let's throw it over to myself over in the review station, and we'll look at some comparisons in ish. Alright guys, so here are the figures 
in the backstage area looking at them, man. These just look wonderful. I, I love the way they look. Here is another analysis of, you guys can see here, Jay has the smaller square and then Jimmy has the bigger square. And I guess that's accurate. You know, I thought they wore the same exact pants. So it's kind of crazy that they did have like uh, on similar gears that are just kind of slightly changed. And you spin them all around to the back and they do have the red on the backs there so that's that's pretty wild and this is a new J head sculpt so you guys can see here their head sculpts are clearly different the head sculpt over here has uh, I did add that little oh my god I did add that little bit of paint underneath there because I didn't like the bald look but the hair sculpt is clearly different as you guys can see here the bangs are longer it's got the longer mullet going on and so I do like the hair paint there like the little red tips there and the back deco is a little bit different as you guys can see but the joggers are the same. They also went ahead and just gave us the full white sleeve instead of adding that little space right there. And, uh, you know, it's just a repaint, basically, but they did redo the hair sculpt, which is very interesting. I'm, I'm interested to know, like, exactly what led to that decision or, you know, the accuracy. Maybe it's the accuracy compared to this gear. I want to say this is their Money in the Bank gear from some years or from, like, last year or the year before. I can't exactly remember off the top of my dome, but the J figure is clearly different, as you guys can see, and I did fill in the beard over here a little bit more, and I think that was on action figure surgery or something like that but the jays look really good and then if you bring in jimmy it's kind of wild because now all these accessories that i put on this jimmy i feel like i need to put on this jimmy because you know he's got all the he's got the custom shirt he's got the jacket he's got the uh you know the jordan lowe's over here that we did forever ago or not forever ago you know what i mean we did it a while back but there is uh, what it would look like everybody told me to paint the red on here and i'm glad i didn't now because now we have we have this over here and i feel like the jays probably need to go over here as well and that would really tie it all together. But, you know, the more the merrier. I'm really enjoying the Uso figures. I like collecting them all. And that's why I do want to go ahead and get, like, some of the Usos over here. I have some of them over the shelf, you know, with, like, the white joggers and stuff like that. But let me just shut the hell up. Let's let's bring in some other Uso figures. Look at everybody up next to each other. So here's our new Top Talents Jimmy and our SummerSlam Elite J. Up next to the rest of our Bloodline over here, as you guys can see. All of these Bloodline figures back here are the Uso slash Reigns figures. A lot more in the collection, like... Like, I have so many Roman Reigns. I think I counted the other day. It's an, it's an absurd amount of Roman Reigns. And the Uso collection I tried building up years ago. Like, trying to collect their figures and trying to build that collection up for different fix-ups and things. As you guys know, we did just recently have this Jimmy that we did convert... We took the legs off of it. This is a whole fix-up video if you guys want to check it out on the channel where we made this custom, you know, promo-style Roman right here. And I love the way this looks. We even have the watch on there. So this is a Roman Elite with custom head sculpt, removed the gauntlets, put the joggers on him, and now he matches the Uso figure. So now we have all of these Usos and Bloodline all in the black gear. And that is going to absolutely be a post to Instagram once they get all of these guys dressed up, put some accessories on them and stuff like that. You know, they throw the backwards hat over here on Jimmy. So there you go. Really completes the look. And now look, I even have a hat for, for Jay now. So now now we're all now we're all cooking now, Brad. I guess you could put their somebody told me to put the hoods on. On them and then put the hats forward and put the hats up and I'll probably do that, bro. It's gonna be a sick. I'm gonna definitely stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at my damn toys. I'm gonna post a sick fresh ass photo of all of these guys in all of their gear, all dressed up. It's gonna be fire. But mm, these look beautiful, man. I'm so happy with these figures. These look fantastic. But another huge shout out to Steve from Mattel for the hookup on these Bloodline Uso figures or these updated ones. Again, man, go pre-order. I'm pretty sure both of these are up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. So use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go grab these, man, especially if you missed out on those other Usos. These are the Usos to get. And then we also have the Ultimate Editions that are coming soon. Probably going to be on Presentation or at WrestleMania Access if I had to guess. But these figures are beautiful. These are my favorite Usos we've gotten so far. I love that they have the Bloodline details. I, I just love it. They look amazing. But also, before we get out of here, I also wanted to show off these. I walked into, if you guys can see right here... I have my GameStop AEW Unrivaled Kenny Omega and Young Bucks figures, the Street Fighter figures. Well, I went into my random GameStop the other day and I found my loose copy. And I was wondering if you guys want me to review these. Did, I mean, I feel like they're kind of late now. Like, would anybody give a damn? They have some really cool things about them. And if nobody wants me to review them, I'm just going to crack them open and look at them. But I love the geese. I love the head sculpts. Like, they look pretty damn good. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that. But also, my new camera's still not here yet. So, I'm using this webcam. And I'm still using my wife's camera for the backstage antics and reviews. So, I do apologize for that. But these guys are obviously going to look fantastic up next to... 
the Kenny Omega. And you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are interested in a review of those figures. And I guess I could put, it could be a Patreon exclusive review possibly. I already have my loose version of Kenny. But I do need my loose version of the Bucks here, so I'm excited for that. That was a great pickup there. I think these are $30 at my GameStop? Absolutely ridiculous, bro. That kind of shocked the hell out of me. I was like, what in the hell are we doing, bro? $30. It was like $59 for both of those. Maybe it was $60. I was about to walk out of the damn store. I was like, what in the hell? It may have been just $24.99 with tax for both of them, and that's how I got to that price. But I was expecting clearance. Kind of expect kind of took me, kind of took me for a surprise there, Brad. Nonetheless, that's probably gonna be a Patreon exclusive review. If not, I may review it here on the channel. But speaking of Patreon, huge shout out to our patrons over there, man. If you guys are interested in signing up, we had a new patron sign up yesterday. My Wrestling Figs, MW Figures on Instagram. Huge shout out to him for becoming a Patreon member. If you guys are interested in that, definitely go check that out. And we're also giving away this 1 of 5,000 Chase Darby Allen over there for Extreme Division members or higher. So if you guys are interested in that, link in the description below. If you guys are interested in entering the figure giveaway, we're going to do a figure giveaway every single month on Patreon to the Extreme Division members and higher. And so you can win yourself a 1 of 5,000 Chase Edition Unmatched Darby Allen. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go check that out. However, man, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Love the figures. These Usos are unbelievable, and I'm so glad to have these in the collection. They just, uh, this, this makes me happy, man. And this video would not be possible without you guys, Mattel, or Steve. So huge shout out to them over there, man. The, the, these are just truly beautiful figures, and I'm so excited to have these. And we'll, of course, we'll do a full in-depth review with the full set of Top Talents figures and SummerSlam figures when these drop. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Ch check out the merch link down in the description below. Pro Wrestling Tees slash My Damn Toy. Toys down there. Go grab a shirt. I'd greatly appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down.